Well, good morning. Happy Sunday morning. It's beautiful out. It's probably already low to mid 60s. It's going to get up into the 70s today. So I've already did the grocery shopping, already cut the grass. It's only 8 o'clock right now. And I figured I'd take a few shots with the Oneida. And this year I decided that the broadhead that I'm going to use is going to be the Magnus. Uh, is this a Stinger? I don't know. It's one of the Magnus broadheads. Nice solid four blade with a bleeder. Should get some pretty decent penetration with it in a deer, I would think. And plus they fly really good out of this bow. And I'm leaning towards actually doing quite a bit of hunting with this bow now for some reason. And that's the reason that's 20 it's about 22 yards right there i think 22 23. It's my first shot of the day obviously the dart and i can hit exactly where i want almost every time every time but i mean look at that does not get much better than that holy cow that is dead center uh, yeah, the broadhead flies really good out of this bow, so. And it's more of a traditional arrow broadhead. And since this doesn't have quite the power that uh, the Darton has, I figured this would be a better option than uh, those... Uh, trifecta because I think you probably need a little bit more power to get those into the animal or through the animal all right let's try that again I was pleased with that one just a hair low but I'm happy with it would have definitely got me a deer it's no more than a half an inch out, I would think. Whew, it might even still be in the red here. Nope, actually about a full inch out. Oh well. If I'm aiming where I'm supposed to on a deer, that's a dead deer. What a beautiful, beautiful morning. I'm hoping it cools off here soon. Now all next week is a hunters with disability gun hunt in Wisconsin. So I can still bow hunt, but I have to wear blaze orange. So we'll see if it doesn't cool off considerably, then uh, I might not hunt next week. I don't know yet. Probably will. I was shooting at the head that time. Let's see where she hit. Uh, looks like right in the head. <laughs> looks like half and half, half in the head and half in the body. I'll still take that. That head's only about an inch and a half wide. Should we take one from 33? And then call it a morning because the Jets are going to start playing the uh, Vikings pretty soon. I can't believe I have to actually root for Aaron Rodgers today. <laughs> Got to give the Vikings their first loss. All right, one last shot at 33. And just so you know, I didn't really feel like shooting today, but it's one of those things where if I really want to hunt with this bow, I got to get out at least once a day and shoot a few arrows. 
So this will be what, my fourth arrow? All right, let's see what we can do here. Again, I was shooting for his head. Felt like that might have been a little low, but we'll see. Or is it perfect? <laughs> Look at that. Put it right between his eyes. That's amazing. Look at that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch off with the Oneida and the Darton. Now I have incentive to shoot the Darton because I wanna see what those trifecta broadheads do. And you know, the Oneida is just my favorite bow in the world. So I kinda wanna get a deer with that. So I guess it'll just depend how I'm feeling that day. So hope you're all doing well. I hope you have a great Sunday. Catch you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.